Okay, so there's a few people out there that would like to know how to change your Abbey in the previewer so that you can make your catalog icon right away. And so it doesn't look super, super nuberish, you can say. Okay, so I am going to take you step by step. Okay, first off, what we want to do is make sure we have it loaded, the new product and we're all finished and almost ready to submit it into the preview. So you see what tab I have open, which would be the scene manager. You want to go over to the scene manager and you see where it says enabled female avatar, clothing, attachment, and skin product. So right there, we're going to take a little step because we want to get to our inventory. So. I already have my inventory page pulled up and that would be www.imvu.com slash catalog slash web underscore inventory dot php okay the first one I'm gonna choose is the hair and I just click on info and it will open in a new tab so what we're gonna do is scroll down slowly but surely and you see where the product ID is we want to copy that right there just the number control and C to cut it now we close this and we are going to paste it then just click add apply changes and slowly but surely it will update Now you see she has some cute hair. We can also change her head and her skin tone just the same way. So we go back to our inventory page and let's see what kind of skin tone we are going to get her. I need to go under my skin tones and I'm just going to pick a random one. I scroll all the way down, I get the product ID number. Sometimes it helps to make sure the page is loaded all the way. <laughs> so I copy that. And then I go back into the previewer again. And right where that last number is, we can just highlight and paste the new one. And click Add. Apply Changes. And see she has a new skin tone, but she kind of has a big head still. So what we're going to do is go back to our inventory page once again. And go under our heads. And I guess we'll use the Dulce head. And once again, we highlight this, copy it, go right over here, just highlight that last one, control V to paste, add, apply changes, and it takes a second, but it'll work. See, doesn't that look a lot better? Oh, but she does need some shoes, so we will work on some shoes now. Let's go back over to inventory. And we are going to find a pair of shoes. These may not match, but you, you just get the basic picture of what we are trying to do here. And the page is still loading, so I'll let it finish loading before I copy it. So what we do is copy that, and control V again to paste it, add, apply changes, and 
that doesn't take a few seconds. I'm going to go back over to materials now. And see now, you have a decent looking AVI female. You can usually change the room to see where it says white room. We can always change it to black room. Apply changes, depending what the person is wearing. It might be easier to save it in paste mag and then, like if she has blonde hair. But with this Abby, I think I will do it in the white. We can also make this bigger so that we can pull her in or out. And we see there. So let's hit Alt Print Screen so we can paste this. File, New. Control V. I'm just going to crop this part. And then save. And that concludes it. This portion. And I believe you should already know how to make the icons already. So, um, good luck. And if you need any further help, don't hesitate.